Hey everyone, here we are at Anderson Penn's. Uh, take a good look. That's where we are. I'm Eric, and of course today with me is Steph. Uh, Steph was invited uh, by, uh, well, actually we uh, demanded that uh, Steph come and share with us her vacation pens. How are you, Steph? I'm doing well. Where are you going on vacation? Well. Wait a minute. That's a nice shirt, Steph. I know, I right? Like that. Little known fact that this is the 2022 official shirt for everyone born in California. What's your stick? That's, that's all I got. Well, I assume that based on our matching shirts, we're going to Disneyland. Oh, Disneyland. Yeah. I was thinking we could get a job as like uh, something on a cruise ship. Oh, oh yeah, we could, we could be... Social director or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we'd have to, we'd have to have one of those fun jobs where we have to fun. get have everybody to, to play shuffleboard with us or something. <laughs> where are you going on vacation? I think I think we've got to go to Disneyland. That way, Disneyland. It's, these are a safety precaution so that when you go to the missing child desk and say, "Has anybody seen Steph?" and they ask you what she was last seen wearing, you can be like this, and they'll be like, "Oh, she was wearing this." Oh yeah, we know exactly what. <laughs> Look for the woman without a shirt. All right, so you're going to Disneyland, <laughs> not Disney World. Everybody laughed at that one. <laughs> I'm going to guess your pants. All right. Because I know you. I have three pens. This is exactly uh, how I pack the vacations. I, well, yeah, uh, apparently you have to take a vanishing point, and you have mm. that stealth black one with all the mojo. That is the rumor. And you like the Kokono, so uh, you're probably going to take a Kokono. That does sound like me. And you, I know how much you love your Kaveco Sport Iridescent. Ooh. So those are my three guesses. Mm. Um, Dick wanted to say hello. Oh, hi. Okay. Richard! Richard! <laughs> What's your first pen? In no particular order. In no particular order. Since I've even, already told everybody what they are, you might as well just... You know. Even I do not know the order. <laughs> the order. I'm trying my magic look. bag. And first off, you are absolutely correct. Okay. It is Excellent. my matte black vanishing point. The first fountain pen I ever owned, not counting one of the other ones that is in here. <laughs> <laughs> not counting one of the other ones. But this is the actual first fountain pen I... I was, that was really like the first nice one that I bought myself. And it lives in my purse, so it comes on me with every vacation. And then I remember that it's there when it's going through airport, airport security, security. And I just get I, to see I, it. I love what you've done with it. Because yeah. they, the, the stealth black ones do scuff up. Mm -hmm. And they get what I call mojo. And so no mm -hmm. two are ever alike. And yours is beautiful. I did I, that on purpose. I got a big scuff on it right away, and instead of being upset over it, I said, you know what, I'm going to lean into it. So I threw it in the pocket of my purse where yeah, my keys so live. I've, yes, excellent. Mm -hmm. So those are all key marks. I don't know if you've seen, we've done this video with Brian, and we did it with me, and both of us separately chose Vanishing Points. I Apparently, thought I was Vanishing being Point, so creative as, and very practical, because exactly like you guys said, you know, you don't have to worry about a cap, you just click it. Go. Yep. Plus, when you're sitting there waiting in one of those lines at Disneyland. You can drive people crazy. Maybe they'll leave. Exactly. Maybe they'll leave. Exactly. Okay. So, I am uh, I got one right so far. Now one for one. Let's see the Kaveco. All right. This is a kind of a weird-looking Kaveco because it's a Pilot Varsity. <gasps> now, that's in, a surprise. Yeah. That is a surprise. It's, this is to soothe... Soothe? Soothe? Soothe my anxiety if I'm going to be going out and about and going to a bunch of different places and I just have the good old vacation fanny pack look going oh, on. because it's an easy to lose pen? Yeah, it's a lose it and don't cry inside oh, okay. pen, although... Yeah, you have lost a pen before. I have so, lost a yeah. pen before. Yeah. So, I said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> okay, that's a very good reason. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it's... It's easy, you know, somebody steals your bag. They always write, too. Uh, I was saying, uh, in my video, I was saying that uh, the Park 51 always writes. Yeah. And this one always writes as well. Yeah. I found Until one in a purse that I was about to donate to Goodwill that was like three years old and covered in dust. And I opened it up, still wrote. Yep. The actual first fountain pen I ever bought. That's an excellent choice mm -hmm. uh, for a vacation pen. Isn't it that one? I don't have enough of those in my life. I have to go shopping. You should get a we're complete set. Yeah. Come in every color. And this one, I decided to go with the green. Get a little fancy oh, since you. we're on vacation. <laughs> green is fancy. It's okay, so uh, that wasn't the Kaveco. Uh, so you're either going to pull out a Kaveco iridescent now or your Kakuno. It must be one of those. It must be one of those. It must be. It is iridescent. It is iridescent. Oh, it is, but it is not the Kaveco. <laughs> I picked this one. That's the new one, isn't it? Yeah, uh -huh. I picked this one just because I love it. It's, it's new hard not to love. Bisbee Diamond 580 in Iris. 
very much like that Vax 700R that we were freaking out about early. Was that last year? Was that last year already? They still come out once in a while. Hey, it's it's Wisconsin. In, they came out the other day. The other day. I mean, sometime between yesterday and the beginning of time. I like this one uh, because of the Lobby Lobby. Yeah. Uh, and, and I like all the different colors on it. I figured it's got such a huge ink capacity that if I run out of ink in my vanishing point, I'll just twist some you out. You could do that. A, a transfusion. And, yeah. As yeah. it were. Yeah. It's, it's a double, doubles as a fountain pen and a traveling ink reservoir. Plus, I forget the rule for traveling with fountain pens on planes. Are piston fillers good? Am I supposed to leave some room in my cartridge? I have never really had any trouble, uh, but they say either empty them or make them completely full. Oh, that's the rule. I was wondering. I thought it was make it completely full, and then I thought that's dangerous. Just so but... there's no air in it. And generally, when I'm on a plane with pens, they're in a case of some kind, and I put them face standing up in the in the seat pocket in front of me, ah. so that their their nibs are up. And I've personally never had trouble, but I've heard of trouble before, so it is possible. I, I like to forget about my pens until I'm going through airport security, and they say, "What is that thing with all of the gears and levers inside of it? We need to see that. We need to see that." And then I'm like, "Are they talking about a pen?" Something? It's my vanishing point. <laughs> TSA uh, so guys thought it was awesome. Disneyland, here we go. They asked yeah. for, the TSA asked about the vanishing point? Yeah, they did. Interesting. They liked it, too. I have a lot of metal pens, and they usually say, we'd like to see that, please. And then they're fascinated. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they've ever asked about a vanishing point. Yeah, you gotta make got to make fountain pen conversions in the TSA check line. That's the, that's that's the, the goal. <laughs> that's the goal. That's the whole reason we go on vacation, right? Thank you very much for this. This was uh, educational for me. <laughs> uh, I only got one of yours right. Uh, <laughs> So was my plan. Peanut <laughs> <Good> gallery. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steph. Uh, please ask them to like the video. <gasps> you guys, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It and makes me happy video. inside. Thanks for happy inside. Don't do too badly by me either. Excellent. Thank you very much. See you next time, Steph. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>